it is 4.40 a.m. And we've got about 40 minutes left on the current level up. See that T5 basic? Three days, seven hours. It will expire before the next level up. So that means we've got to take someone up right now. Who will it be? Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time again. As you saw, I have uh, a T5 basic about to expire, and so I need to make a rank up decision. And I have a few that I could rank up. I've got five stars that I could rank up. I've got six stars that I could rank up. And up until a few minutes ago, I still wasn't sure who I wanted to take up next. But if you have any idea who I'm going to take up, leave a comment below with your guess and let me know. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, Two, one, Shang-Chi. So I just got this guy in the arena. And as you can see, I took him up to rank three. That is actually where I had planned to stop. But then I looked at my catalyst situation and saw that expiring T5 basic. And I'm like, okay, I was planning on taking him up to rank five anyway, but I wasn't planning to do it right just now, you know, but we got to do it. Uh, I don't really have any other five star that I'm just dying to take up. I wanted to take him up. I want to play with him uh, and see what he's all about. All right. So as you can see, we need two T4 basic catalysts. Uh, we can grab that from the glory store. It reset, and I haven't gotten anything uh, this reset. All right, and let's go ahead and get this guy up there. Oh, man. There we go. And I'm not going to awaken him or do anything with his SIG levels just yet. I'm waiting for a skill advancement. There was no advancement this level up, which is why it's so early in the morning and I'm doing this because I set a timer and I was waiting to see what the last event would be just in case I could double dip. So after this, I'm going back to bed. All right, let's go ahead and rank this guy up. All right, so while I'm ranking him up, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes. So in the beginning of the video, where I blurred out the champion that I was about to rank up, you'll notice that I put some nice little graphic effects, you know, fog and, you know, little animated emojis and things like that. Uh, well, I had planned to make a video, save it, so that when I make these types of videos again, all I have to do is grab that and put it in. Just makes things much faster. I don't have to actually create that every single time. And I went to do that and noticed that a lot of the effects that I had used in the past that I wanted to use were gone. I couldn't use them. And what happens with uh, Filmora, which is the software that I use, they use this film stock to do all of their effects. And film stock unless it's a special uh, offer, they don't let you buy these effects just straight one time. You know, if I'm like, ooh, I like that effect pack, I wanna buy it, I can't. I have to give them a subscription and then I get access to everything that's on that current subscription plan. And if I end my subscription, I can no longer use those effects. I don't like that, so I'm not doing that. So I went out and looked to find free effect packs and I found a bunch of them. Some of them have like over 600 and they listed out the different things that uh, or different software that they were compatible with. And one of them was DaVinci Resolve. 
And I looked that one up and I'm trying to learn it right now so that I can use some of these effect packs uh, with it. So in the future, you may start seeing some of those effects in my video. Uh, I remember Brian Grant, who's another YouTuber, mentioned DaVinci Resolve. I don't know if he's using it now or he used it in the past, um, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm learning it, but not in time for this video. All right, so look forward to that in the future. All right, we are done with the level up and we will get into some gameplay. Let's see what this guy is about. I don't really know too much about him. I've never fought with him outside of the arena. Uh, and that was only with the four star. And I think I did that maybe once. All right, so let's get to it. All right, let's dive into a realm of legends and fight with uh, Shang-Chi. But first, let me show you the synergies that I have active. So uh, we've got this synergy. He's gonna start the fight with four Chi charges. Uh, we've got this one here, where landing a critical hit grants an additional 2% critical damage, max 100 hits, and more critical uh, rating. This one here gives him more uh, attack, and this one here gives him more attack. So uh, I just threw in this team uh, to play around with him. I have not fought with Shung Chi outside of the arena. So this is really the first time that I'm gonna be playing around with him. Now, I watched videos and I know basically what you have to do. You have to build up uh, those t the Chi charges. All right, so let's do some. We, we're starting with four. Here we go. One, two, three, four, okay. I'm trying to uh, end with a medium. Let's try medium medium there we go cleansing strike cool cool medium medium all right and i think that resets it so right now we have six of these chi charges uh you see the perfectly timed uh dodge whoops well that wasn't a perfectly timed dodge okay come on Okay, we got 10. Here we go, stun. All right, we've got 11 T charges. Let's fire up the special uh, three. I have no idea what the best rotations or anything. I know that different rotations give him different things. So, you know, different combos give him different things. But, I'll have to really dive into him. Okay. And I guess a heavy. Yep, that resets him. Is that one okay? All right. Let's try and do a um right. Full 5 hit combo ending in a medium. Let's go. There we go. There's that stun. And I probably needed to, uh, during the stun, hit him with that heavy. All right, let's go. Another special three. Special three is uh, pretty cool too, by the way. Okay, we're gonna probably have to, oh wait. Boom. Woo, that's a lot of damage right there on that heavy. All right, we're gonna, yeah, I gotta get used to uh, the different combos here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, fire up that special three. Uh, I was planning to do a special two, but I got too carried away. But we'll do a special two now. We'll do a special two to finish this off. Okay. All 
Oh, Shong Chi. See that special too. All right, I'm gonna try and do this here. All right, let's just do it because we're about to end up. Woo! Okay, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. And I'm going to uh, play it a little bit differently. I'm going to try to uh, build up the uh, chi early. Okay. Back it up, girl. Okay, come on. So, since I played Stark Spidey so often, when you build up poise charges, you have to dodge at the last minute. And so these perfectly timed dodges that you saw me do just there are very familiar to me. Sometimes I go a little bit too quickly, but yeah, see, that's just how you built up Spidey's uh, poise charges. Okay, let's go. Come on. All right, I'm gonna do one special three. And then uh, we'll build up to a special two and see what it does. I'll try to build a few more uh, chi charges up. Oh, I thought the stun was going to last longer. That's why I went in for the attack. Okay, come on. We are up to 19, 20. Come on. Yep, there's the block. Come on. Okay, come on. All right, you know what? 20 is good. Let's uh, see how much uh, 20 does. Well, 22 now. Okay, a few more. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun to do. All right, what we got? Woo! That's a lot of damage. And then I got caught by the... Uh, I was too busy looking at all those yellow numbers. Let's see what it does with only like that small chi charge. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. Even if you don't build him all the way up, not bad at all. And I like the cleanse. Woo hoo hoo. Mm. Definitely a lot of damage. That's not bad. Even though I, I'm still getting used to him and I'm, you know, instead of watching her, I'm trying to, you know, get used to different rotations and, and combos and things like that. But that was awesome. Uh, I, I grinded for him in the arena because he looked like a lot of fun. And he looks like a lot of fun. And he feels like a lot of fun. Uh, he also has a slow uh, that would help against, you know, this juggernaut here. We're not going to do that fight. Um, I just wanted to showcase his damage. I'll probably do another video once I get more used to his combos uh, and then showcase what he could do. Because he has a lot of utility as well as a lot of damage. And you saw those cleansing strikes. He's suicide friendly. He may not have the immunities, but he can cleanse them. So very, very nice. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, one thing to note also, this one is not awakened. When he is awakened, his signature ability gives him more damage. So what you saw here will not be the same as what you're going to see 
when I finally awaken him, I'm just waiting for a skill advancement. When I awaken him and max his SIG out, then we're going to do this again and see what the damage looks like then. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.